again, we, we did paper and pencil. It was a tough problem. We got through it, and we got an answer in the end. I'm looking at my Sage output and wondering, is it the same thing? And I don't know. Let's take a look at it. What do you say? Um, I see a quarter. Oh, by the way, there's a constant integration over here. And then I see, uh, let's see, 4 sine squared. I'll put this over here. Let's see. I can be careful here. I'm seeing one quarter, four sine squared, and minus one. It's not so bad. They're dividing it by uh, sine four. Put this over here. Oh boy. Then they got plus one half. Remember log in sage is ln. And that's gonna be sine squared. I'll put that down. Plus C. Oh, remember absolute value. Put that over there. All right, let me take a look at that. And I got to do some reductions over here. And to do that, one thing at a time. I don't like the fact that it's sine force in the bottom, so I'm going to write this a little bit differently. And I'm going to calm down at 4. Let's go one step at a time, all right? And what do I see there? I'm going to be dividing through by sine 4. So I'm going to get 4. That would be um, cosecant squared now. minus cosecant to the fourth power and um, just give me a second I think yeah cosecant to the fourth power and then I'm going to get two Sorry about writing over my work, by the way. The natural log of the absolute value sine squared plus C. Getting close. I'm going to write a little bit more neatly now. I get 4. 4 cosecant squared X minus cosecant to the fourth. I'm going to take this 2 and bring it down. And that's going to give me 4 ln, absolute value, the sine of x, plus c. All right, did I get what I was expecting to get? Let's take a look at it. I am seeing this. I'm seeing this. And I'm seeing this. All over 4 plus c. It's working as advertised. So things are going pretty smoothly so far. Thank you.